All right, all right, all right. So, going into round number three here. I'd say overall, me sideboarding last game, like getting the caverns removed for the chalice is an easy choice when I'm on the play. But if I'm not on the play, it's like really would just rather have all of these threats in the main deck because it's what chalice, transfigure, stone brain, ratchet bomb. So that's four cards I'd have to take out. Like Karn and walking ballista, obviously. Along with Relic, since it doesn't really do very much here. And the last one, I I still think I would go with the Sphinx of Foresight. Let's go bug tots. And to good luck, have fun. I am going to keep this hand. Two pieces of Tron is almost always a keep. And then an extra tower to come behind to, you know, help me cast Ulamog if we get Tron on turn three is just awesome. And cast Green Cataracts for my Sphinxes. It's like I don't see anything negative with this hand except for the fact of do we get to turn through Tron, yes or no. City of Brass, oof, this is a combo deck. I don't think we're gonna... Ooh, we get the mine, let's go, we get turn three Tron. Feels great. And the Sphinx of Foresight. That we can also cast on turn four. So turn four is now either Sphinx of Foresight or Olamaga. Hmm. So it looks like they are on uh, graveyard stuff. What is it? Dredge. Hmm. Not against a dredge match right now. I do feel pretty confident if I do. Ooh. I could have dredged five. Oh, I guess now they're going to dredge ten, right? Narcomoeba is coming back. Prize the Malgam is coming back. They have the Oxen here. Oof, that's some good pulls from their end. Let's go, we can get our Sphinx out there. Feels good. Oh, we got another Sphinx. Okay. Deck seems to be setting us up pretty good this time around. Now we get to scry at the beginning of every turn. They're attacking with both. Of course we kill the Narcomiba. If we kill the prize the Malgam, they could just bring it back. But now something else hits the graveyard. So I think we just exile both their lands here, even though they're probably going to ox, right? Yeah, that would have brought Prize the Amalgam back because it can't... Ooh, creeping chills. Three 
three, six, nine damage. Oh my gosh. Definitely put that on the bottom. Alright, Ulamog, show your stuff. Let's see. Let's exile this guy and... This guy right here. And we have two blockers, one in there, one on the ground. Uh, I think it's fair to say we could just sit here and wait for a second. Pretty sure they're trying to stock up on more creatures here. Another ox. Go. They have three cards that they can draw and then they lose the game. I have to put the land out there. Put this out there. Carn out there. Snaring bridge out there. And I want to gain life, but how do I gain life right now is the question. I guess I could have also. Okay. Alright, they gave up. I could have also gotten Platinum Angel there, but. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's get a cage, torpor orb, platinum angel. Let's get. The deck's not known to play stuff against Tron, right? Last zone, I don't think, is very effective here as well. Karn, there's way too many targets too quickly I really want to do trading post but if I need to gain life it's my only out so I think it's just better with Karn I went down to 16 lands Ooh, let's see Sphinx of Foresight I'm kind of debating taking one of these out Yeah. 
They couldn't have force of vigor. No, let's just leave the Sphinx then. Do or die this game. Do or die. Okay, two pieces of Tron. Oh, yeah, yeah, one can trip. I think we'll keep though. Two pieces of Tron is just good. I don't. Especially when this is castable in one turn. Or correction on turn 30. Some flaggery. Just putting it in the grave. Okay. We got lucky there, but look, they got the prize amalgam in here. I gotta save that for in case if I get. Did I put Tormont's Crypt in the main deck? I don't think I did. There it is. So if I can get Karn out there, I can exile the graveyard, but. Wow, only a creeping chill? It's crazy. That means if they go off, they're gonna. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Everything's coming back. It's all coming back to them. Oh, nice. Alright, let's see. Do we get Tron online here? Oh, we do. We can go up on mana next turn or we could just not worry about it. What do we want to do? Let's just go up on mana. It also lowers the amount of cards in hand in case bridges are out. Dead anyways, right? No, oh, oh, yeah, we're dead. Hmm. The only option was to hmm play Karn and die anyways. Wait, we had walking. No, we had no outs. We legitimately had no outs. All right, let's try that again. Tormod script. I still think we should. Ah, uh, no. Let they storm off way too quickly. And now let's take out a Sphinx. Or. Spyglass. I don't know why I left Spyglass in there. Put the Sphinx back. Wait, I left Gemstone Caverns in. Oops. Pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. Alright, let's go ahead and power this. Of course, we're going to put the Tron Land back first. Hopes so of getting Tron a lot easier going forward. This hand we can absolutely keep. Let's get rid of Ulamog and O Stone. After all, their whole goal is to bring creatures back from the graveyard. Putting them there doesn't seem that great in my opinion. What is this? Luxton Smither? Or Luxton Hierarch? Hmm. Close. If they destroy this, we're gonna be uh, kinda in a world of hurt here. Yay! Oh, sweet. Natural Tron 2 of that. Let's go KGC. Hmm. 
Let's see. We put all our stuff to bring things to stop things from coming back to the graveyard into the main deck. I think, right? Let us go. Hmm. I guess they didn't have a lot of good stuff in hand, I guess. Probably. Huh. Surprised that went through. All right. Well, either way, though, we were in a very, very good position here. All right. So we'll see what happens in the next game.